Give me a sense of what Georgia needs to do at this point to make sure that the international rating agencies keep on side with it. Well, uh, generally the strategy of government of Georgia is to make Georgia a regional hub for finance, logistics, trade and tourism. And in order to achieve this goal, we have uh, developed a very comprehensive uh, agenda to address these priorities. And of course, one of the main priority is to be in the top list of the, of the very well-known international rankings. For example, a week ago, we were named in the top five countries in terms of open budget index. According to the World Bank, we are number nine in terms of uh, easiness of doing the business. We are number nine in terms of low taxes in the world. So all, all this helps us to uh, integrate Georgia in the world economy in the most efficient way possible. Mm -hmm. and, and you but rightly mentioned that these free trade regimes that we have with the European Union, China, with all CIS countries, Turkey, helps us a lot in this, in this respect. Okay, w will your economy grow at 5% this year? How achievable is that? Uh, so, last year, uh, our economy grew almost by 5%, which mm -hmm. is twice more than you can see in our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So, uh, making Georgia a regional hub, of course, is a long-term uh, strategy. But, however, we observe that it already creates and uh, brings a very positive results for our economy. So, uh, according to IMF, during the next three years, Georgia will be the leader in terms of economic growth in the region, mm -hmm. which consists of 31 countries. Minister, when you, when you break down the, uh, you know, the growth and where it's coming from and things like that for your country, how much does the free trade agreement from the EU and with China actually impact your economy? So, it actually uh, Im impacts a, a, a lot, yeah, because the uh, size of Georgian economy is not large. Yeah? So, our main uh, focus is to integrate Georgia in the world economy in the most efficient way, way possible. If you look at FDI for 2017, 17, it was, it was uh, all time high, mm -hmm. and we have the uh, same um, uh, agenda for this year and the coming years as well to increase the FDIs as much as possible. <clears throat> Historically, we've been very successful in attracting the Western investments in, uh, in the major energy projects crossing Georgia. However, we are very happy to see that in other sectors of economy mm -hmm. like hospitality, financial services and of course transportation mm -hmm. and logistics, we see a very serious interest from American, European and Asian companies as well. I would like to mention the deep sea project, uh, deep sea uh, uh, project in Anaklia, which is on, the, on our Black Sea shore, which is a major infrastructure project in the region going on now, which will be a game changer for the entire transportation sector. Minister, you are 3,600 miles from Beijing and only 1,200 miles in all the history of Georgia from Moscow as well. I get the idea there's a Silk Road, which I don't buy for a minute because you got to go under the Caspian Sea and down through Tehran, but there are airplanes. How are you going to develop your economy and relationships with China? The map is extraordinarily difficult. So what is the to-do list for Georgia with Beijing? Um, well, I mean, um, apart from airplanes, we have a very efficient way to do the transportation of, a, of the cargo crossing Caspian Sea using ferries and many other uh, modes of transportation. Well, Georgia is a, is a key partner in a, in a road and belt initiative. Georgia is a gateway for so-called eight landlocked countries to do the trade right. with the outside world. So we are the shortest link from Asia to Europe. And definitely um, the infrastructure which we are developing in Georgia is not only to serve the needs of South Caucasian region. We are speaking about a wider region, including, including China. If you look, for example, at, uh, at the trade level between China and Turkey, it is almost 30 billion uh, US dollars. And we are the shortest link to facilitate this <clears throat> trade. Right. Minister, what do you need from the United States? Given the unrest on the Turkish southern border, the ageless battle with the Kurds, all of the battle of Georgia in the direct region, what do you need from the United States right now to get political stability to drive forward your regionalization? Well, 
we can say that Georgia is a, uh, is, a, is becoming an outlier in, uh, in, in the region. Yes, and uh, of course we need uh, more investments from the United States of America and we are very happy to see that there is a growing interest from very big corporations uh, in America to start their business in Georgia. And uh, while investing in Georgia, they are, it's no, we are not speaking that they're going to have an exposure only on Georgia or on the South Caucasian market. It's a very wide region. Yes, our free trade agreement covers European Union, China, you rightly mentioned, and all CIS countries. And this is a population of more than 2.5 billion people. Um, Minister, let me bring you over to uh, the LATI. So this is basically the cross that we're seeing on your currency. Let's bring it up for you, Tom. I guess it's one of the crosses that we don't look at very often, but it's continuing right. to rebound after sinking uh, below 2.70 to the dollar in late November. Is, is the worst for the currency over? Uh, well, of course, I mean, uh, the, this is one of the uh, largest challenges for our economy, the fluctuation of our, of our currency, which is partially related to the very high rate of dollarization in our economy. And we have a very comprehensive and long-term long plan to address uh, this challenge. So if you look at the currency of our neighbor countries, you can immediately notice that LAR is one of the most stable currencies in, in the region. And with executing the policy to further decrease the rate of dollarization of our economy, uh, we, we, uh, we have all the expectations to say that the fluctuation rate of our currency rate will be significantly lower.